What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see here, I do have a very odd team, but that is because we are crafting SPC Team of the Season, Mauro Icardi. Uh, you guys did want to see a player review on him. So here, let me just go ahead and show you guys, I'm making sure my controller was on. Uh, there he is on the screen for you guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and submit this team right here. Not the worst, I literally had to pay like 8k for this, uh, for Icardi's gold card just to complete the team. Uh, because you do need one uh, League One player. So let's go ahead and submit it and let's see if there's any animations. Alright, here we go, guys. Mauri Cardi completed. And there you have it, guys. There is the animation. Very, very nice animation. I like it. I like the animation. Gives off good vibes, guys. I will be playing two games with this card. And I will let you guys know how he is. I'm going to try him out in a 4-2-3-1 and, and in a 4-2-2. All right, guys. So I'll see you guys when I have the team ready. See you guys in a bit. All right, guys. So the first game that we come up against, not the greatest of sides. I'm assuming people right now are going to be doing SBC challenges. But let's get right into it and let's see how Icardi does. This first game, we will be playing in a 4-2-3-1. Let's see how he does, guys. Alright guys, so the first dribble that I give to Icardi, he does lose the ball fairly quickly. Oh, and we score a goal. First goal with Icardi, if I'm not mistaken. Good ball control. I will give you guys that. He has very, very good ball control. His dribbling so far has not been there. I've given him two dribbles and it's just not there. Um, but maybe it's just a little warm-up. Hopefully his dribbling does get better as the game goes on, guys. Let's go. We do get the ball to Icardi there. Icardi does miss that. Uh, probably with a finesse shot that might have gone in. Um, I'm not going to lie, guys. It has been a bit of a tough game. This guy is a good player. He is going for swaps. Um, but let's go. We can definitely get at least one, maybe even two more goals with Icardi, guys. Let's go. Okay, guys. So there, as you guys can see, once Icardi does get the ball, because of the lack of skill moves... Um, it's really hard to try and get around the defense So it's almost like you have to feed him the ball I was gonna say it like that, but he does hit the post But let's go. We are finding openings now with Icardi. We move. We move Let's go. We give Icardi there the ball. Fake shots. Drag backs. He still has it. He still has it. He's fighting for it. So he is a little bit on the stronger side, guys. I can definitely tell you guys that. Um, there we go. He does finish that. Absolutely funny. Uh, he finishes that funny looking goal. I'll show you guys that whole play. Um, the drag back was there. He drag backs nicely. But when it comes to doing a fake shot, he is a little bit slow to turn. Uh, I know he has like 85 agility, I believe, which is not the worst. But it can definitely be better, guys. So, here we go. Let's move. Let's try to get a third goal. Let's try to get him a hat trick on the first game, guys. Icardi with a really, really poor shot right there. I probably should have held it longer, but it had to be a quick fire shot as there was pressure coming onto him. We do keep the attack going, though. It was Sevio with the ball. Drags it back. Looks for Icardi. Icardi fake shot. Ball rolls. Can't finish. Icardi again with a very very soft shot um, that one I did hold a little bit longer So I don't know I'm having I'm having a few second thoughts about this card guys. I'm having really really uh, questionable thoughts about the card As you guys can see he does get a second goal there um, It is Ozzyman. He does outpace, but let's go we move Here we go Icardi's on a little run. He's on a little run. He ball rolls and again, the, the lack of skill moves does affect Icardi there. I'm pretty sure he is rocking uh, three-star skill moves. So, yeah, don't, don't expect Icardi to be pulling out some crazy skill moves um, once you're inside the... Icardi nearly gets that finish right there. It was a very, very nice play started from, uh, from Daniel James right there with the ball roll with the pass. Icardi, unfortunately, cannot finish that, guys. 
Hopefully we can beat this guy because he did bring it back 2-2. Two -two. Icardi there with the finish. Again, Icardi does feel a little slow despite the fact that he does have a, a hunter on him, guys. Definitely, definitely does feel a little bit slow. Uh, the agility. Agility is a huge factor with this card. Maybe if you were to use something like an engine, uh, maybe it could work a little bit more, but hopefully we can see this game out, guys. 3-2, and then uh, if we do, I'll show you guys the score at the end of the game. Alright, guys, we do end up winning the game 3-2. Icardi does bag himself a hat trick, so very, very happy for that. But again, he felt a little bit clunky, guys. It might have been the fact that it's the first game that we use him. Let's jump into game number two, and let's see how we do. Alright, guys, so before we jump into game number two, I am looking over at his stats, and... A Hunter might be a bit of an overkill for this card. You might get away with either a... Definitely with an engine. You can definitely get away with an engine uh, to improve his passing and his dribbling. His passing definitely needs some work. Um, I might include some include some clips from last game, but if not, just take my word for it, guys. His passing definitely, definitely needs some work. But uh, let's do this. Let's jump into game number two. This one will be in a four triple two with him and Eusebio on top. Let's see how that works, guys. All right, guys. Game number two. Road to Glory. That's a very, very nice team. Solid back line. But hopefully, Cardi can do his job again. Get another three. And we can see this game out. Very, very good team, though. Icardi does miss what I would consider it an easy shot to score so we go guys this guy did score one goal by the way um, but we move let's let's try to bring this game back Icardi does finish that very very powerful shot almost unstoppable for the goalkeeper again Icardi when he is facing forward like straight towards the goal he is gonna bag in those goals on the 180 turns, uh, on the drag bags, it will get a little complicated, guys. But let's go. We move. First goal for Ricardi in his second game. Again, guys. Uh, I don't know. I'm really not liking Ricardi that much, guys. He's definitely not your Mbappe up top. You know, he's uh, he's definitely not your uh, your Osebio, your your Cruyff. Even Neymar could potentially play striker better than Ricardi. Again, it's just he's not an agile player, guys. All right. Um, he's a little bit slow. His ball control is is really off at times. Again, that ball control, guys. The ball control is just not there for, for Icardi. But I'll let you guys know at the, at the very end what I think. And if I think that you guys should be completing this card. He does finish that goal right there. A little scuffed, a little bit of a lucky goal, but he does finish that, guys. Again, near post finishes ROP. Uh, let's see how we do. Let's see how we do. That is the second goal in the second game. Okay, guys, at the end of the game, Icardi does bag in two more goals. All right, let's check the highlights and see what we have. So we do have one of the, one of the Icardi misses here. Neymar, very, very good dribble, very good pass right there to Icardi and he does miss that again it's kind of like an 8 180 uh like a 120 degree turn kind of shot so those are usually a little unstable but he should be finishing that especially with the shot power and uh the accuracy like he really should be finishing that uh um again he does score his uh his two goals again him going forward towards the goal he will secure you those goals guys he will secure you those goals. So now, my honest opinion on Icardi. Very fun card to use. He is definitely, definitely a fun card to use, guys. Uh, especially if you guys are a PSG fan. If you guys are an Argentini, Ar Argentina fans. Sorry there for the stutter. Uh, you guys can definitely pair him up with the likes of Messi, with the likes of uh, Di Maria. You know, you have uh, very, very good versions of those two cards. But... Of course, he is not going to compare to Mbappe, guys. Mbappe just has five-star skills, uh, four-star weak foot. 
Which is, Icardi has that as well, to be honest, or to be fair. But, again, it, it's just not the same. The agility definitely lacks, guys. Let's go ahead and look at his stats. Over two games, he does manage to score in uh, five goals. Uh, work rates are medium low. Yeah, they are medium low. Um, so, again, it's a fun card to use, but probably not the best thing to do if you guys do have about 130k lying around. Um... I definitely would not recommend to, to complete them for 130k, especially if you're looking for a meta player, guys. Uh, if you guys are looking for a fun player, however, if you guys just want to have fun with your teams, if you guys, again, are a PSG fan or Argentina fans, definitely, definitely 100% recommend, guys. But, guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Hopefully you guys uh, did enjoy this Icardi. If I had to compare him or if I had to put him side by side, um, to be honest, guys, uh, one card that I would use that probably has similar or worse stats would be uh, Player of the Month Vardy or Headliner Vardy. Uh, that card is an absolute monster and could probably do a little bit more damage than this Icardi, guys. But again, guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video, guys, and I will see you guys here for the next one. And remember, guys, we do stream on Twitch.tv forward slash flymike 415 Tuesday to Sunday, guys. Weekendly gameplays, pack openings, all that good stuff, guys. So until next time, see you guys then. Peace out.